Okay, so let's do this let's chat thing with me in this video. I have like a notebook here and I have dates and stuff. Why they just all of a sudden disappeared as if they think we're not going to notice the disappearance of two of their hoes. There have been many rumors circulating, speculating what the reason is for Yi Bo and Da Lao Shi's departure from the show. And there hasn't been any official statement that I'm aware of regarding them leaving the show. At this time, everything that I am covering today, I found through various resources, interviews, news articles, things like that. Until we hear anything from Yi Bo or Da Zhang Wei. Everything is up to speculation. Let's start from the beginning. Day Day Up or Tian Tian Shang Shang is a popular variety show that is broadcasted by Hunan Satellite TV. The show started airing in 2008 as a way to convey traditional Chinese values to its viewers. It was a way for people to learn more about Chinese traditions, especially with the arrival of the 2008 Beijing Olympics, which was around the same time of the show's release. The show had gone through many host lineup changes throughout the years. However, the backbone of the lineup had always been Wang Han and Qian Feng. In 2016, the show hosted the first Tian Tian Xiao Zhong Di competition, which is the Day Day Up Little Brother competition, where they invited young and handsome up and coming artists to join the show and to participate in different activities. This was all for the chance to be chosen as a permanent host on the show, and Wang Yibo was eventually chosen. Chosen. Da Zhang Wei and Wang Yibo were both announced as part of the permanent host lineup in May of 2016. Their addition attracted many new, young, and international fans, and it also increased the show's ratings and popularity, especially in recent years. However, if you have been keeping up with the show, you may have started to notice some changes that took place starting around July of 2021. First, the new Tian Tian Xiao Shong Di competition started during the July 18th episode. This time, there were six young guys who are all either still in college or have recently graduated. So that's kind of when a lot of speculation started to pop up online and that's when people started to guess that, oh, maybe the person who's going to leave is going to be Yi Bo. The second was Qian Feng's departure from the show. I'm not going to go into detail in this video, so I'm going to leave a few links in the description down below. So if you are interested in learning more about why Qian Feng is no longer part of Day Day Up, you can check those out below. Third, starting on the October 3rd and October 10th episodes, Wang Yibo and Da Lao Shi started sitting on the side next to the Tian Tian Xiao Shong Di and were no longer standing next to Wang Han in the center of the stage. This was also around the same time when Yibo was listed as a resident guest and was no longer listed as a host. So those were the two episodes where you can really see that Yi Bo and Da Lao Shi are no longer hosts. If you see the seating arrangement, they are no longer standing next to Wang Han as part of the main host lineup. I found it a little weird because I'm so used to seeing them standing next to Wang Han and like talking to the guests. I don't know. I don't know why they, they did that. But I feel like that started the transition of like no longer having them on the show as if they're like slowly, you know, like disappearing. Like they are like they were in the center of the stage and then they're like slowly, you know, getting moved to the side and then all of a sudden they're just gone. And that's it. From the October 17th episode onward, Wang Yibo and Da Lao Shi were no longer present and there's only Wang Han hosting the show alone. The opening credit with the four of them had also been cut out. I don't believe what happened was a coincidence because this all started around the same time when a rectification movement, which is also known as Qinglang operation, started, which is a cleanup effort 
by the Chinese government to clean up the chaotic celebrity fan culture. This cleanup was put into place by China's cyberspace regulator, which is the Cyberspace Administration of China. The administration ordered a heightened crackdown on the unhealthy online fandom culture to reduce frenzied idol worshipping amongst underage fans. This special operation is to tackle five major issues surrounding netizens. Number one, the government claims that idol reality shows seduce young fans into buying the popularity of their idols by purchasing votes or fundraising. Number two, the issue of trolling, slandering, and spying online in online communities. Number three, the issue of idol culture that leads to fans flaunting their wealth. Many teenagers purchase virtual gifts for their idols during live shows or would purchase hundreds of copies of the same magazine, all to support their idols. Number four, the issue of fans who hire people or networks to post and sponsor content to spam the web and manipulate the comment sections in order to boost the reputation of their idols. Number five, and lastly, the issue of the industry influencing public opinion by newsjacking or hyping up individual celebrities, which often spreads misinformation and shifts the focus of the news towards celebrities. In the midst of the cleanup, the lineup of this year's CCTV Mid-Autumn Festival Gala was announced on Weibo. The event is considered one of the largest events on Chinese TV and is organized by the state-run Chinese media group. A celebrity's attendance of the gala is like receiving a stamp of approval from the government as a measure of their popularity. The lineup included over 26 artists, but netizens are talking about the absence of it boys like Wang Yibo, Carrie Wang, and Tai Xu. Quinn. This brings me back to Wang Yibo and Da Lao Shi's withdrawing from Day Day Up. Recently, a Day Day Up producer said in an interview, the upgrade and revision of the program also means a new reorganization of the host team with Wang Han as the backbone while adding some new members. Due to the professional planning and schedule of some brothers, some members will bid farewell. She did not mention specifically who would be leaving but it seems that the answer has already presented itself because there are only three Day Day Up brothers left in the lineup. With what has been mentioned so far, the following are potential reasons and speculations that have been mentioned to try to make sense of Yi Bo and Da Lao Shi's mysterious departure. Speculation number one is that their contract ended. I don't think this is the case. I've been seeing a lot of people commenting saying it's because their contract ended. I feel like it's almost a cover up reason. I don't think it's because their contract ended because the show has been doing so well with the addition of Yi Bo and Da Zhang Wei. Before that, I would say the show has gone through many scandals with their hosts. Many of the hosts left for different reasons. There were scandals involved. Some there were not scandals involved. But overall, ever since the addition of Yi Bo and Da Lao Shi, the show has really attracted a much younger audience. And I feel like the viewership has also gone up. To say that it's because their contract ended when at the same time so many things are happening in the entertainment industry i i don't think that is the reason another speculation is that yibo doesn't have his host qualification certificate license this actually came out around 2019 that wang yibo doesn't have his host license and at the time, the refute was that no, he doesn't have his license, but that's okay because he's considered like an assistant host where he doesn't speak much, like he doesn't have a lot of lines, but he's in charge of doing like the physical things that are required from the guests, like dancing and all of like the physical elements that will take place on the show. So in order to be a host in China, they do require some sort of standard or exam. There's an exam that people have to take if they want to work as a host. There are a lot of people who are suggesting that they also must have studied at a university and they also must have obtained their bachelor's degree. If that is the case, as we know, 
Yibo does not have his bachelor's degree. I believe he graduated from high school, but he never attended a university. Majority of his teen years, he has been working and training. Then that could be another reason for Yibo to leave. I'm not saying he was kicked out. I'm just saying, you know, it's just technicalities. These are just qualifications. These are items that is required, especially after the rectification or the reorganization of the entertainment industry. The third speculation is the banning of sissy idols. As part of the recent crackdown on the entertainment industry, the National Radio and Television Administration called for boycotting anything overly entertaining and the scrubbing of male idols that are deemed too effeminate. Although there is no exact definition, they can be seen as young, delicate looking men with gentle personalities or anyone who wears makeup and jewelry. Beginning in early September, government regulators banned their appearance on television and streaming websites. On top of this, there are celebrities with the power to attract a lot of traffic have been termed as liu liang, which literally means traffic celebrities. Specifically, liu liangs are those who gain great attention wherever they go, who dominate the major entertainment news headlines and social media's hot search lists just by changing their hairstyle. There are also people often criticized for bringing in huge amounts of traffic to streaming platforms because of their huge fan base. Many would attribute their popularity to their good looks rather than their talent. I would say that they are probably considering Yibo in that category. I don't agree with it, but that's another story. Although this is a rule and not a law, the strong control that the government exerts over the industry have them quickly falling in line. In addition to Qianfeng's scandal, there has been multiple scandals involving the host of Happy Camp as well, which is another major variety show that is broadcasted by Hunan TV. Due to this, it seems that Hunan has fallen out of favor with the public, and it is speculated this is another reason for the reorganization of both shows. Hunan has also recently changed its theme from making people happy all over China to a new theme, which is Youth China. In line with this new change, Day Day Up will focus more on Chinese traditional culture, science and technology, cultural exchanges, and more. The purpose of that is to make it less about entertainment, but more about the developing Chinese culture, to spread Chinese culture, heritage, as well as traditional martial arts. While there are many reasons for Yi Bo to leave, many are surprised as to why Da Lao Shi would decide to leave the show. We know that Da Zhang Wei does have his host license. During the years that they've been hosts, there have been a few episodes where Yi Bo was absent, and that's because of scheduling conflict, that's because he's been flying in and out doing different shows and activities. But Da Zhang Wei, on the other hand, was never absent from a single episode since he became a Tian Tian Shong Di, which is a Day Day Up brother so he never was absent. So there was much more confusion as far as why Da Zhang Wei would choose to leave. For one, he has his host license, so the reason could be the exclusivity clause due to the new rebranding. Hunan Satellite TV has been under fire for scandals that have been happening with their main hosts from Happy Camp as well as Day Day Up. Because of that, there has been a reorganization, um, new policies that have been put into place. It is suspected that because of this new policy, if somebody is a host on a Hunan TV show, they're not able to record programs on other other platforms other than Hunan TV or Mango TV. So there seems to be some sort of exclusivity act that has been put in place. Once again, speculation, right? Da Zhang Wei has success outside of Tian Shang Shang as well. He also has other work. He has music. He guests or hosts on other shows. And I feel like what happened to Tian Feng probably has to do with one of the reasons why he decided to leave because I feel like netizens are starting to dig up up anything of like the past that they can use against them or against like him so I feel like 
yes that likely is part of the reason why he chose to leave i don't know there's probably people against like the host who knows so it makes sense that he would choose to leave on his own accord because he saw what happened to Tam Fong. the third reason is that it could be monetary because it is rumored that day day up hosts don't make a high salary and many of the hosts from hunan depend on their own influence as a celebrity in order to make more money on the side as well as taking on additional host positions and shows so many of the hosts actually rely on their influence and they also have a lot of private work in addition to hosting so i think it is multiple reasons why wang yibo and da zhang wei are leaving the show there are many aspects of what is happening right now in the entertainment industry that i feel like has attributed to this eventual departure of both of them in order for the station to give their audience a legit answer of course the best way is to say their contract has ended or that you know their schedule is preventing them from being able to be a part of the show like that's clean and simple but with everything that is going on within the entertainment industry you know within the administration within the cleanup of the fandoms and the closing down of certain fandoms and groups and clubs i feel like there is a much larger force behind it and i feel like if it is up to hunan themselves i don't think wang yibo and da zhang wei would leave the show uh, to be honest, and that's just my opinion. I think it's much larger than that. I think it's due to the cleanup and I think it's due to the the nature of the cleanup, the way that Chinese culture is. And if the government says that they don't want these idols to basically have so much power over like the public and you know have so much power in such a large fan base you know having a large fan base means they're influencing the public in quite a huge way and so i think because of that they want to minimize the influence that these idols are having on the public and so i think that's why they are cleaning up I feel like at this time, we could only wait and see what happens. In my mind, they've already left the show. It's Although nothing has been officially confirmed, all the evidence points to the fact that they've already left the show. This video is kind of random. I am kind of all over the place and I apologize. Um, this is the first time that I'm doing something like this. So I just, I'm kind of experimenting with different formats for my videos. If you guys want to see more videos like this one, where you can see my face, uh, <laughs> give me a thumbs up, um, comment down below, let me know what you think or if you think I should, um, or if you think I should go back to my original format where I'm speaking to you guys on a mic, kind of like a podcast type of thing, like my previous Let's Chat uh, videos, I can do that as well. So if you prefer that, let me know. Or if you prefer this type of format, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. I mean, you can give me a thumbs down too. Although I don't prefer that, please don't give me a thumbs down. Videos take a lot of time to make. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, okay, but anyways, it's your choice. You can give me, do, do whatever you like. It's your choice. It's your life. Live your life. Live your life. Okay, um, but yeah, that's it for today. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I don't know. Hopefully we can see Yibo soon in the near future. I miss him. And Street Dance of China is now over, so we don't even get that from him anymore. Um, I don't know, hopefully he'll have a new show soon. I mean, honestly, if like he is no longer in Day Day Up, I feel like any other show would be lucky to pick him up. They need to get on that and like pick him up. That's all I'm saying. Okay, bye.